subscribe. Welcome back to another episode of Dave's Recap. Today is August the 4th. Let's delve right into it. Quite an epic performance today in the Dow. I thought it was going to close negative for a while. Late afternoon surge brought the Dow, Dow back up in positive territory. The Dow closed up 0.62% today at 26,822. The Nasdaq closed up 0.35%. At 10.94, they were struggling for a while there. The NAS. Uh, Kodak is in problems. Kodak is under SEC investigations for a bunch of things. I'm sure some people got rich. A lot of people got rich last week when the stock surged from six dollars to 60 bucks go back to my video for that day i recommended it when it was around five bucks in the pre-market i saw it at four i thought i was late when i started a position at seven held overnight sold some at 18 sold some at 42 all right we're killing it out here k-o-d-k -K. Okay, so they're under investigation for insider trading. The loan from the government might be illegal. <laughs> I'm telling you, it never stops. We got the president, Donald Trump, touting the stock. Okay. Go ahead and read the news, all right? I said this one you could hold for the midterm. <laughs> might be time to sell if you're still holding. All right, I think they're they're at about 13 bucks now, I think, today. Also, I think I read that they'll be issuing, for the bondholders, they'll be paying the bondholders in stocks. <laughs> That's the whole reason people buy bonds, because they are risk averse. Or if they want to uh, diversify, because I have some bonds, but I have mostly stocks. So it's a good thing to diversify when you buy stocks. In bonds, you lend the company money. So imagine you lend, for argument's sake, you lend Kodak 60 bucks. You're expecting your dividends, your interest payments, not dividends, your interest payments quarterly, okay? And in the middle of the ball game, they change the goalposts. They change the rules and say, you know what? We're not going to pay you cash. We're going to pay you stocks. That's not nice, especially when it dropped from $60 to $13. Go ahead and read the news. Let me cut this blather skite and get back to these numbers. Dave's Play, A-T-H-E, closed up a whopping 154% at 343 all right, stock opened up at 380 and went as high as 512. The low for the day was 318, okay? Volume was 110 million. Average volume, 1.9 million, okay? A-T-H-E. Dave's bonus play. Dave's... No, that's Dave's play. Dave's bonus play now. SSNT. <laughs> Two top gainers. SSNT closed up 96% at 540. Stock opened up at 1119. They went as high as 18, 19 dollars in the pre. Most of the action was exhausted in the pre. Sign up with my link below. For Webull, trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. A lot of action. All right? If you do not have high risk tolerance, do not trade pre-hours. Wait until 9.30, regulation time. Okay? So the stock opened up at 11.19. The high of the day, 13.39. The low of the day, 5.30. All right? The volume today was 
36 million compares to the average of 33K, all right? All right, let's go into the after hours. Stocks kicking up rumpus in the AH. <laughs> you won't believe this one. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're working on great things over here. All right. Now we have ARPO. I've been stalking. That's why I tell you the purpose of the stalking list. When you have a stock list, very important. That's how I caught this one. ARPO. I was stalking it from around 60 cents or so. I started a position at 78 cents. I think I sold out and then I re-entered because I saw movements. I think I re-entered last week or the week before and then I added. All right, in the after hours, ARPO, they're up 61% at 213 guys all right this is another stock that i saw that i was stalking i saw it jump to 16 bucks i think it was at around 11 dollars it jumped to 16 bucks a few months ago or so six weeks ago or so flgt the stock closed up 26 percent. it's 26 percent in the after hours at 37.28, when I first started to stalk her, she was a teenager. Now she's all grown up. FLGT. All right, the company came out with great earnings news. Go ahead and read the news on your own time. All right, I think their revenue jumped 105% from second quarter last year. So. That's a company that's growing rapidly. Okay. So now she's all grown up. FLGT. Speaking of age. Yes, age. Age is up in the after hours. 19%. Sticker symbol AGE. What's the irony of that, huh? AGE up 19% at 859. All right. I caught this one today. Follow me on Twitter, guys. At Duppy Teeth. I tweeted this one late afternoon. A lot of volume came in. Price started to skyrocket. I tweeted this one. Watch for high of day. Late surge. It was A-G-E and M-V-I-S. They made a late surge. I tweeted that out. Anybody who started a position, they're in the money right now. The stock is up. 19% after hours, after closing up 38% today. On top of that 38% close today, they're up another 19% in the AH. Tomorrow should be interesting. All right? Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share the video. I really appreciate you guys, all the new subscribers. I welcome you. Any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me. My email is in the description box, okay? Stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll try to upload an earlier video again. I was on the road early. All right, make sure you protect your neck. Set your stop loss. Let's live to trade another day, okay? Take some profit. Took some profit off L FLGT and also uh, ALPO. I think that's the name of the ticket symbol. ALPO. All right, let, let me just double check that. ARPO. All right. I already took some profit in the after hours and leave some to see what tomorrow brings. Because what if it continues? I want to be a part of that. All right. Have a good night. See you in the AM. Dave Natch, I'm out for now. Boom, bam. Please subscribe. Do remember, if you wish to open a Webull account, you'll get two free stocks. Link below.
Thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.